become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another Duel Links video. Nani, this is not Duel Links. Legacy of the Duelist. I'm back here for a Legacy of the Duelist video. It's been a long time since I played Legacy of the Duelist for you boys. The first time was way back in the day when this channel had no duel links or anything and it was very 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 ridiculous it is not it was nothing like what it is going to be now with legacy of the duelist the cards are pretty much updated and there is no actual uh purchases in game it's actually only farming and that you know kind of is what it is but it's just grinding so i've grinded out my gladiator beast deck later on in this video at some point um, is gonna actually have um, a list of the cards in the deck and how you can obtain these cards um, and where you can find them. Um, but you can use the timestamp to do that. But in the meantime, my boys, we're gonna be getting in there for ranked PvP to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. This is my first ranked PvP match, so let's go. Multiplayer, ranked matches. So we're using the Glad Beast Lockdown. Let's hit up a ranked match, my boy. This should be pretty spicy. The first one ever. Ever. Ooh. Oh. The first duelist I ever duel is named Danny. All right. <laughs> Let's get in there. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist ranked duels. I'm going to cut them up with the scissors. And I'm going to take first. Ooh. Ooh. I'm pretty excited, my boy. I'm pretty excited. Um, this is an okay hand. All right. So in Duel Links, a hand like this, I would be dead. But in Legacy of the Duelist, a hand like this is kind of amazing because we can use Link Spider. Open the circuit to the future and Link Summon into Link Spider. And Link Spider has a special effect. By using the power of Link Spider, I can special summon a normal monster from my hand. That beast I choose, Andel. Yes. So now that we have Andel and Link Spider, I can open up the circuit yet again. Now, open up the circuit. Link 2. Test Panther. Summon that Test Panther. Then, wait for our opponent. Activate Test Panther's effect. To add to my hand, Gladiator Beast Comeback. This is where it gets spicy. We're going to activate Gladiator Beast Comeback. Comeback's gonna let us summon a Gladiator Beast from the hand or grave, but we're gonna wanna take one from the grave. So let's bring back Gladiator Beast and Dale. But we're not done yet. Hold on. Then I'm using Test Panther special effect to send Andale back to the deck to search my deck and summon Gladiator Beast Augustus. Now, Augustus has an effect because he's been summoned by the effect of Test Panther. Augustus effect to special summon Augustus. Now, Augustus has an effect because he's been special summoned by a gladiator beast. Augustus special summons Equestus. Now, Equestus has a special effect because he's been summoned by a gladiator beast. And I'll take back Gladiator Beast to come back. Return to my hand. It's not a hard once per turn, so we're about to go bananas. Now, Contact Fusion. With the power of Contact Fusion, I can summon a more powerful Gladiator Beast. Come out! Contact Fusion! Gladiator Beast, Tama Editor! In defense mode. There he is. Now, we're not finished. This is the Wing Beast. This is the Beast Warrior. 
and then we're about to special summon. Tame an editor's effect. Special summon. Gladiator Beast. Domitianus. And I am far from done. Now, special summon. I open up the circuit to the future yet again. And Link Shokun. Here it comes. Appaloosa. The bow of the goddess. And we're going to link Appaloosa right here. Now, Appaloosa's at 24. Do you have a response for that, my boy? He has no response. Now, Gladiator Beast to come back. To bring back Gladiator Beast, no Tama Editor. Tama Editor. Oh, I'm still not done. Now, Tama Editor's effect. And I'm summoning Gladiator Beast. Heraclidos! And with that, I'm going to end my turn. So now I'm going to end the turn. I have Gladiator Beast Heraclidos. I have uh, Gladiator Beast Domitianus and Gladiator Beast Tamer Editor with another uh, Appaloosa the Bow Goddess. So that gives us four monster effect negates. Five, well, five monster effect negates, one spell negate. And uh, I'm just going to end it on that. So we're going to see what our opponent has for this. But, you know, there's no telling. There's no telling. I don't think there's an established meta for Legacy of the Duelist. So what does that do? He says the equipped monster cannot attack. Also, its attack and defense becomes 100 during each of the step. Wait, it says the equipped monster cannot attack. Also, its attack and defense becomes 100 during each of the standby phases and flick 500 points of damage to this to your opponent okay well uh if he does that i lose all my negates so i can't have him do that so i'm gonna negate with her now he has a chance to hit me with lightning storm or anything else but that's fine he tried to go for appaloosa we'll see what he does no <laughs> Life is gone. Wow. That sucks. Since all my monsters are in attack position, they all died. But Tamer Editor survived because he was in defense mode. So we'll see what else he has. I have never seen that card before. I, I don't know. I've never seen that, uh, that equip card that drops you to 100. So I got baited, basically. So we'll see what this guy has. I got completely and totally baited. So this is Ice Hand. Oh, well, he's going for Xyz. Xyz in the what? Honor Art? Oh, no. It's Utopia. He's got the Utopia package. Probably going to hit Utopia the Lightning. What? He's going to Xyz again? How crazy does these Utopias go? Utopia the Lightning. Oh, yeah, what I said. I didn't know he had to stop at a different Utopia to get here. So this card's probably got, okay. So what, a double attack or something crazy? Blow up the card or something, banana? Can detach one, this cannot be. It can't, it couldn't be destroyed <laughs> due to the, uh, no, it couldn't be destroyed due to the effect of my spell card. <laughs> well, I guess that's funny. Let me see. Spirit message. Destiny board. What? What is this garbage? Spirit message. That is so strange. All right. So if you're wondering why you didn't die, is I guess because of this card, Gladiator Beast Comeback. So you bring back the Gladiator Beast and it cannot be destroyed by battle. And I guess he didn't know that. He went through all that trouble and didn't read. <laughs> so let me just double check this card right quick. 
as it cannot be used as materials. Says, if this card battles upon this monster, you can detach two and boost it to 5,000. What's well, kind of see? Quick effect. Oh, okay, so it's not immune to any destruction, so we can probably get rid of them easily. All right, so tame an editor for Gladiator Beast Gazarus. We're gonna blow up two cards. It's Gazarus time. So get this field spell out of here and get this Utopia package out of here. Everybody get off my field. And we're not done yet. <laughs> Discussed it. Let's do another rank duel. <laughs> he lightning stormed the entire field, makes the Utopia package, and attacks into my monster, and it cannot die from battle. So he's just like, oh. <laughs> I thought it, that that I, I don't know all the Utopias, so I didn't know that his. I thought that he was gonna have like some destruction effect or something. I didn't know. I didn't know that his monster only could just boost. I thought that it that it could do a whole lot more. Like you saw how much he invested in summoning that Utopia. So I was like, clearly uh, it must do something incredible. And <laughs> it wasn't, honestly, it was pretty mediocre to say the least. But uh, <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's kind of crazy. That's also crazy. I opened up with three Gladiator Beast Proving Grounds. That's also pretty nuts. I think I'm gonna go for uh, Anoxus instead of going for Equestus because Equestus can get me a card back, but I don't think I'm gonna go for that strategy this time because that lightning storm jacked me up. So I'm gonna make sure that um, I don't fall into that same wheelhouse again. So you, you guys know my combo by now. So Link Spider, Spider no Shokan. There he is, it's the Spider. Link Spider's effect. Special summon my Gladiator Beast Andu. There he is. That's not all. Link Shogun. Test Panther. Let's see if we can get a nice, another nice, spicy little rage quit for you. There's my Test Panther. All right. Test Panther's effect. I'm still learning all these cards, but I think it's insane what that that last guy, that last play was crazy. Um, I'm gonna take this again. Yeah, the monster not being able to be destroyed by battle is ridiculous. Like I often forget that because I normally be linking them off and all that other stuff, but it's like crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. He was just like, what? <laughs> Boost of five thousand, nothing. <laughs> that was that was super enjoyable. All right, so here is Andale, and then I'm gonna use Test Panther's effect. That little equip card was bananas. Just cut my monster's attack down to one hundred. That was so super cheeky. Honestly, I was not expecting that. I, I've never seen that card before. That was really cheeky, actually. All right. Here's Augustus's effect. And then we're gonna hit another Augustus. Bam. And then Augustus effect yet again. And then we're gonna hit uh, a Torix. And then a Torix effect. And we're gonna target Augustus. So basically, we just, you know, summon three Augustus. <laughs> Which is spicy. All right, so we already flipped. We did everything. So let's go ahead and hit up 
that hot contact fusion. Contact fusion into Gladiator Beast. No, tame my editor. Tame my editor to defend. Defend me, my tamer editing beast. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use Tamer Editor's effect. And then I'm gonna special summon Gladiator Beast Domitianus. Now, hopefully, we don't get clapped for our transgressions, but you know, it's possible. All right, and um, this time I'm gonna bam bam. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go into Appaloosa. Okay, so let's let's see what we can do. Um, yeah, let's hit Appaloosa real quick. Here's one. Here's uh, two. Here's three. All right. We're gonna use Appaloosa, so. Now we're only gonna have, I think it's three negates. It's gonna be at like 16 or something like that. Oh no, not three negates, sorry. I use four, Duh, 24. Uh, so now we're gonna bring this back. And we're gonna hit one more time. Ooh, is, am I running out of time? Oh snap, I'm running up a time limit. Let's hit Hope Harbinger real quick. I'm gonna hurry up and end my turn. I guess I'm taking too long. <laughs> I didn't know that it was uh, counting me down too. Put him in attack position, boy. All right, let's end this turn. Woo. I almost I almost didn't get a chance to end my turn. <laughs> I took way too long to do that. I almost didn't get a chance to end my turn. That's crazy. Ooh, he's setting up a bunch of back row. Now, if we can draw a reborn card right now and get out Gazaris or yeah, get out Gazaris to clear all this up for us. I mean, people can be running mirror force and stuff, but you know, who knows? Uh, let's battle. Um, attacking with Appaloosa. Sangin. Oof. Well, you're not gonna get that, sir. Nope. Take 3,000. Limit reverse. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, continue that attack. Take uh, 2,000. Get my Sangin, dog. Oh no, Sang is only once per turn on activation. Yeah, because I got eroded. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Guess you won't be getting that Sangin. Sorry, bruh. Ooh. Pick that 35. All right. So. Yeah, I am my turn. I'm not even, I'm not gonna go into Domitianus, Domitianus switcheroo plays. Cause Domitianus lets you summon, I think it's, yeah, one, supposed to summon one Gladiator Beast. So it's not even worth it to switch tag out. You never tag out with Domitianus. You're gonna have to, you gotta keep Domitianus. So right now he's locked out of spells and monster effects for sure. So, you know, unless he's got some dog ass trap, some, some bomb ass trap, like he's done pretty much. But he's locked out of spells and monster effects, period. Unless he hits me with like, like a something like a lava golem, a kaiju, or something like that, you know. Which which is possible, you know. It's possible. All we saw is Sangin and Limit Reverse, but you know, what's this guy playing? You Bell or something? <laughs> you Bell <laughs> and Legacy of the Duelist. Cyber Wagon, okay. Let's see what he does with this. 
Red Nova. It's a fairy tuner level one. So he's got um, uh, level syn synchro summon. But it doesn't matter what he synchros. Like, that, none, his monsters can't do anything. And also, I have control over where his attack goes to. So he can't even attack into me and get the type of effect he wants. All right, there's a, okay. Powerful rebirth. I said, unless you got a badass trap. Got a few traps, I guess. So he has a, what does this do? It says, uh, oh, he's just gonna use the synchro summon. He's gonna be going to level seven. Maybe he's gonna try Black Rose Dragon or something, which isn't gonna work. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Let's see what he does. He's going into the synchro. Oh, what? What is that? All right, Scarlight Red Dragon. Red Dragon Archfiend has changed his name to. Once per turn, he can get his effect fucking negated. Nope. <laughs> Be gone. Be gone. Dementianus. If you break that down, that's Dom Mitch Anus. <laughs> yes, it's too much fun. I love it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. God, man. I'm just going to call that quits, my boy. I'm just going to call that quits because. The video, I don't want it to be too long, but I want you guys to let me know what what decks you guys want to see. The next deck I want to play because I really need to learn it. I want to learn Invoke Shadals, so I'm going to probably do a live stream and focus on farming for Invoke Shadals. So enjoy the rest of the video, if unless this is the end of the video. And as always, keep it dank. All right, my boys, we're getting in there to talk about the deck list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far, and now I just wanna talk a little bit more about the deck. So clearly, as you guys can see, um, this Gladiator Beast deck is really, really good going first, but it can go insane going second. You know, that's because we're playing cards like Appaloosa, and we're playing cards like Hope Harbinger to basically negate outside of our Gladiator Beast combos. Um, the breadwinner of this deck is definitely Tamer Editor in terms of special summoning, but the number one combo setup monster is Test Panther. So in case you want to play Gladiator Beast, um, there's a link in the description to my boy is Brad HD's um, video about you know the type of uh, monsters, where they are, where you can find them. But there's also a link to his website where there is a database where you can just search cards to find them. Now, I don't have cards like Lightning Storm and things like that yet. I'm still farming a lot of the cards myself. Um, I don't have a call to the call by the grave in this deck or any hand traps in this deck because I was playing online ranked and I figured, you know, Legacy of the Duelist, I'm not gonna need all that stuff. So I just buffed the deck by adding more cards and just said, if they got it, they got it. That'll be some good entertainment value if I get countered and will show how strong the Gladiator Beast deck is. But as you saw when I was playing, people just didn't have that. They were just playing into their combos, but they definitely had Lightning Storm. So you wanna make sure that you guard against that. So just to start off here, you guys saw in the video that Summoning Test Panther allows us to search our deck to grab a uh, Gladiator Beast comeback, and then comeback allows us to special summon a Gladiator Beast, and we can use the Panther to swap out a monster to grab Augustus. Augustus grabs either a Torix or Augustus, and then we can get our combo going so that we can special summon out the legendary Gladiator Beast Tamer Editor. Now, I think I mentioned it before, but in case I didn't, you can get all these monsters from Zuzu Boil and Soul Burner. All Gladiator Beasts come from those two characters old gladiator beast cards like test tiger gladiator beast darius um all those cards come from zuzu new cards gladiator beast domitianus um gladiator beast rejection gladiator beast comeback all that stuff comes from soul burner so you'll have to um basically source both of those candidates uh, 
candidates. Both of those, um, uh, both of those characters. We'll actually have to source both of those characters if you want to get Gladiator Beast. Also within Zuzu Boyle's uh, rewards is Rescue Rabbit. So that's also a bit helpful in terms of your search. Also, you want to make sure that you um, use, also you want to make sure that you uh, farm Jesse Anderson. Jesse Anderson is going to have Unexpected Die, um, which is really important. And you want to make sure you farm Playmaker Dual Links so that you can get World Legacy Succession. Uh, World Legacy Succession is a really good card. Just lets you special summon like Monster Reborn to a link zone a monster is pointing to. So that's a card that you can't afford to pass up. And also in this deck, you need Link Spider, which is another card you can get from Playmaker. So make sure you farm Playmaker for both World Legacy and Link Spider. Additionally, don't forget your Monster Reborn from um, Yugi. Um, Yugi will have that Monster Reborn that you need. You can only play one, which is amazing. So just make sure you get in there and get that. Pot of Desires, you wanna pick that up from Yuma. And typically in this deck, I love running one or two Pot of Desires because after you place Appaloosa, Domitianus, and Glarabies Heraklos on the field, you will have either one or no cards in hand. And if you have one card in hand, it can become two if you have Pot of Desires. So you'll have two negates, one spell, one trap, or two spells, two traps, or whatever the case may be, plus your monster negates. It's an amazing, amazing card to play on top of your entire combo after you summon out all your big negates. Um, also, uh, I'm using um, Goblin Burge, but I don't think you should really use Goblin Burge. I think you should just run another Test Tiger. But personally, I just want to try out Goblin Burge in this deck. It was okay. Test Tiger is a little bit better. Um, basically, you're using Test Tiger and Goblin Burge in the same way. Pretty much, they're just an extra body to help you link into Test Panther. So you can enable your combo and just move forward. Um, Appaloosa, you want to make sure you get them from AI. I think I already mentioned that. Uh, Boral Sword Dragon, um, I forgot who you get that guy from, but I think you get it from the Rocket uh, Duelist in, um, in uh, shoot, the Rocket Duelist in Brains, um, the guy with the mask, I forgot his name, but you end up getting it from that guy. And then also, uh, Alexis Rose will give you Instant Fusion, which is a really powerful card that lets you special summon a fusion monster and you can use the fusion monster's effect, which is Thousand Eyes Restrict. You can take a monster from your opponent, then link this monster off. This is a really good combo for going second, but also if you need an extra body to help you get in the Test Panther, that's also a good reason to use that card. Um, so you guys already saw the combo. You don't really need a full explanation of the deck. I mean, if you do at this point, just go play the game. But um, yeah, I really like this deck because you can basically set up all those negates on the first turn. I love Gladiator Beast. It was my first love in terms of ever playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It was the first deck I ever truly resonated with. And then from there, um, you know, years later, I had that same kind of synergy with the Hazy Flame monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And if you're new to this channel, man, you should really jump into that legacy. I have some awesome videos um, about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Hazy Flame. Never miss deck. But now we're getting back in there with TCG Master Rule 5. I'm super excited and I hope you guys are excited too. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something and found this uh, pretty interesting. I'll be back to make more content for Legacy of the Duelist. I think I already mentioned that I'm trying to make an Invoke Shadal deck and I think I, I'll, I think I only have the Invoke things, but I don't have the Shadal things. But I'm gonna be back for a live stream to farm those out. Um, I'm just gathering my DP right now and then we can search out those cards and test out the deck and get in there in the future but thank you guys so much for watching and as always go forth and never miss